How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave, and this is a map tour for a new-ish mod map to Farm Simulator 22 called Colonia. And we are going to start with the description from the mod hub, and it reads... Welcome to Colonia. This map comes from FS19, and this is enhanced with the new terrain. The buildings on the map have been adapted to look latest FS22 standard and the map. Although it looks a bit different, still very much resembles its predecessor. On the map you will find two cow farms, 94 fields including 6 grass meadows, 137 farmlands, new paintings, biogas plant, forests, 5 sail points including 1 train, purchase of stone and lime, Diversified Lands, New Holland Machinery Dealer, Purchase Point, Targ, Buys Everything, Space to Build Your Own Farm, Fields 10 and 11, New Color Shades on the Map, Production Sawmill, Mill, Dairy, and Carpentry, 100 Toys to be Found. This map was created by Rajot Giplay and is 552.01 megabytes to download. There are required mods on this map, and starting with the Farmhouse by Rajo G Play, and Building for Colony also by Rajo G Play. And if we take a look at the map, you can see this is it. It's a bit smaller, a bit condensed. A lot going on right now. But where do we start? We start right here, almost dead center of the map, just down the ways from your farm, actually. And what do we own? Farmlands number one and two. One being your farm, two being a field for you. Now you do start with a cow or a cow barn. We'll show you that later on. There are contracts. There are no production chains that you start out with right off the bat. And there are collectibles. Again, the wooden toys from Elm Creek. 100 to be collected. And if we take a look, there are map specific mods on this particular map. If we look under the build menu, under sheds, you do have required mods. So the ones I read out before, these ones are the required mods, but there are some that do read uh, Colonia. So I believe. Was it farmhouses? No, it was productions, wasn't it? There we go. So there's one under productions, uh, one under cell points, uh, nothing under greenhouses, orchards, or generators. Under animal pens, you do get a couple, uh, well, one in particular, it looks like. Yep, for the uh, cows. Nothing for horses, pigs, sheep, chickens, bees, or others. Under decorations, there was nothing under fences, nothing under lights, and nothing under others. But if we look at landscaping, we get a whole bunch of swatches for your ability to paint, and we get some new trees, as you can see here, as well as some plants. Quite a bit down here, too. So you can kind of really kind of customize this map and make it really nice. So where do we start? Well, if I turn around right here, oh, oh, I don't know if you caught that. I I'm, I'm, might have heard some of it, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna confess something just really quick. I came on here just a little while ago to kind of do a quick tour of the map, just to kind of familiarize myself with it. And I'm just standing here and I'm typing something on my computer, just kind of making sure I make my notes, you know, do my due diligence. And all of a sudden, that volume, or that sound, whatever that person was saying, played, scared the bejesus out of me. It literally just echoed in my ear. I was standing about right here, so it was a bit louder. And I got my headset turned all the way up. And, whoo, man, did that startle me. <laughs> so, anyways, right back here. Why do I not feel like my... Oh, that's why. Back here is our first point of interest. This is the Targ cell point. This is what was being mentioned in the uh, uh, description that will buy just about everything. It's almost like a 
don't want to call it a flea market, but so much talking going on. I love it. Um, oh, there's a little, there's a little guy right there. But uh, like a, uh, not a swap me, not a flea market. I'm trying to think what they're called. Um, like a little farmer's market kind of deal. Like it, it's very nice, and a lot of people walking around, a lot of hustle and bustle going on. It's rather nice. But from there, we're going to go ahead and head down the street just a little ways to our farm. Right here across the street. Open up the gate. We walk in and you see our little Deutzfahr there. This is definitely a small to medium sized equipment map. I would not go much bigger than, you know, a, a medium sized set of equipment because you're going to have a hard time getting around. But you do start out with a fair bit of stuff. I mean, nothing nothing too grand, but you know, just the basics to kind of get you going. But speaking of where what you start out with, let's take a look at what we do get. If we go under this section here, under owned items, under small tractors, we have a New Holland T6125. Under harvesters, the Deutzfahr Top Liner 4090H. Under trailers, the Welger uh, DK115. The header for the Deutzfahr. The cultivator, we have the Raby uh, EG39. Under cedars, the Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030. And the header trailer for our Deutzfahr. In here, through the millions of doors. Oh, didn't get the right door. Lots and lots of doors. They must really love the doors. <laughs> Whew. In here is our sleep trigger. We do get uh, a little kitchen. Just kind of quick tour. Why not? Because we can. There we go. Make our way back out. And over here is where some more of our equipment, including our tractor, is. Right here we have a cow barn. We can hold up to 50 cows in this barn. Oops, trying to open the door. There we go. And I do believe this is where you put in your feed and your uh, potentially your straw and stuff. Over here, through this door, where our trailer is standing on, that's the inputs for our silo. As you can see right here. And then outputs for your silos right here. Around back, we have a few more things, including our slurry part for, point for our cows, our piece of equipment right back here around the corner. And from here, we're going to grab our tractor and make our way around the map. <clears throat> and we're going to head off to the left here. And then we're here, whoops, head up the hill, you can see it gets really narrow, like you're only getting one vehicle down here at a time, and that's why I was saying you're not going to get a lot of big equipment here. Alright, so we're going to park right there, and we're going to come back here real quick. This is the grain mill, you can purchase this for $96,000, but, interesting enough, Grain mill inputs are right here, and then here is a cell point. This is the WS Colonia cell point. And I do believe, where is the spawn point for the flower? I don't see. Oh, right here. There we go. And then we're going to come back here. Oh, I really like how this is set up. Like this little two track back here. Very, very nice. Mm. 
and then over this direction here. Pull in here beside the cows. All right. Now here. This is the carpentry. You can purchase this for $60,000. And then pull in around back. You have your sawmill. Right here. For $100,000, you can purchase a sawmill. Your outputs go right there. Your inputs for your sawmill is right over there. And then similarly, looks like your outputs for your carpentry is right there. Inputs to the left. Sawmill wood chips are right there. Now we're just going to head in this direction, get down here to the main road, and we're going to make a left onto this main stretch here. Then again, followed by another left. And then to a right, right here. Now, something I want to point out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on the way back out. So, directly in front of us is the dairy production point. You can purchase that for seventy thousand dollars. Inputs right here, as well as your outputs. I think are all right there on that trigger. So, it might get a little clustered and crowded when you're trying to deliver over here. So, just be aware and be careful. Now, what I wanted to point out was this field right here. This, this is the actual field, but what's nice about it is that it looks completely in disrepair. And if we go to the map, and actually here, let's do this. Where were we? Where have we been? What have we seen? We started here directly in front of the Targ, the kind of marketplace right here. We ran over, we saw our farm and the area back here, a little bit of our field real fast. Came up here to the grain mill as well as the WS Colonia. Came around back, this little two track down here. Came around, we took in the carpentry as well as the sawmill. Back around, looped down to the main road, up this first road here to here. Now you can see how this field is like speckly with canola. But if you're looking at like grass, look at that. They sp specifically like made this field in very much disrepair. You can potentially harvest some of this. Oh, it's growing still, so you can't harvest it just yet. But if you own this land and you wait until this is ready for harvesting you could get a little bit of canola canola you're not going to get a whole ton but you know something but you also got grass planted in here and all this so you, it, this is specifically meant to plow out and to make your own new field and i just think that's kind of a cool concept that like and it looks like it's just a field that's in disrepair like you just need to kind of maintain it and you know do a little better by it but i think that's cool that's kind of like a nice little touch And now I'm going to make a left. Okay. Pull in here. Come around the back side. So starting right here, to our right is the debris crusher. 
You also have the line by point right there. Off to our left, that is the PGR cell point. And off to our right is the South Valley Biomass Energy cell point. So a lot of stuff kind of clustered in this immediate area. There is a train on this map and we're approaching the tracks just straight ahead of us. To the right is the gas station, fill up your diesel. And here is the shop. Now this is actually really kind of cool. Like the way that this is all kind of laid out, you got a whole bunch of New Holland equipment here. It is a New Holland dealership. But what I noticed is that if you approach these, looks like these are kind of owned by you. Like they're, they're, they're legitimate machines, but you're locked out of them. Like you can't actually open them up and do anything with them, at least as far as I'm aware. You can come over here, open up the gates, and right here is your repair trigger, re well, repair spot, but repair trigger is right there. And come through the back here, open up, and right here, over this, here is the shop. <laughs> The, the the talking kind of gets me every once in a while kind of just I'm not expecting it and it just gets me but you have your shop trigger right there pops back out into the main yard and now we'll go ahead and leave oh I didn't look both ways that's why you look both ways and not just pull out into traffic. There's a train right there. It does uh, go off the map and you can load into it. Right here, off to our left, is the train rental point. Right there. Directly in front of us, this... Oops, I'm pushing the wrong button there. This is the Burpol SPZOO. Not, not to be confused with SP Zoo, just SP dot Z space O dot O dot. Cell point. That's what this is. And then directly in front of us is the input and output for the Colonia Silo. This is where you can also load in your goods onto the train. It's right there. come out of here we have to do a little bit of backtracking I will stop this time there we go said a little bit of backtracking to see I believe we're approaching our last point of interest on this map before we actually uh, go out from there um sorry I just wanted to see something just real quick cuz this just looks like another like active farm but no then guess not guess not Oops. Sorry, I'm I'm reading the description to see something just real quick. I thought I'd missed something, but I don't now I'm not sure. I don't think I have. Alright, so as we approach the last point of interest. Oh, I guess they we're thinking about pulling out. So up here on the right is the animal dealers where you can bring your trailers or you can load directly in from 
this point here. As you can see, you can load in because we do have a barn at the farm already. And that is the map. That is Colonia. Now it is time to render my opinion and give it the rating from 0 to 5. What do I think of this map? Well, if I was to give this a rating, I would give this a solid 4.5, which... I very, very rarely give small maps very high praise. I will give this one very high praise. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different elements on this map that just kind of makes it very unique and something you don't see very often. Is even though it is small, there's there's so much going on that you don't feel like necessarily trapped. I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. Here, let's just turn down here. But you don't necessarily feel trapped in by everything, even though, I mean, you, you obviously are. It's all like small, you know, areas and not a whole lot of driving area and stuff to go, but I don't know. That and... Like, I like the color gradient on this map. It's very kind of muted um, is probably the best word I can come up with. Um, it's not very bright and vibrant, even though you've got a lot of colors going on. Like, everything kind of just seems to be kind of toned back a little bit. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know. There's just something about it that I really kind of enjoy. Um... A lot of undulations. The the map just is very sweeping, but it's not like you're climbing Mount Everest or anything like that. So even though you've got small equipment that, you know, isn't going to be that powerful, you're not needing, you know, high horsepower equipment because you're you're not like doing sheer cliff faces and things like that. So it's uh, it's kind of a good mix between that kind of small. Uh, Small map size, but still got enough going on to kind of keep your interest. Um, very much reminds me of... Uh, oh, what's that map? It was one of the first mod maps that came out to FS22. Uh, Old Town Farm, I think it was called. I'm sorry, I keep seeing these kind of buildings and whatnot. It just looks like a secondary farm. To expand into but I guess not maybe it is because it says that there's a build your own farm but uh, no I guess not unless you buy this just to destroy it maybe well, here let's buy it No, no, I don't think so. Can't destroy anything and can't uh, really do much of anything else. But no, I mean, look at how busy the, the yard is here. Like, it's just a lot of detail. It looks lived in and, like, things are going on. It's just, it's not like the typical small map where you feel kind of hemmed in and restricted artificially almost. But then at the same time, like, it doesn't feel like there's really much going on because it's so small. But this one, there's traffic, there's people, there's, you know, kind of points of interest that kind of catch your eye. Like that church on the on the hill up here. You know, it's got the little cemetery off to the side of it. Um, you know, you got plenty of fields to, to work in, but none of them are huge and overwhelming and, you know, making you want to kind of... Uh, reevaluate, you know, spending a whole ton of time on things. Like, it's just a very, very 
fresh and exciting map, in my opinion. I think that it's got a lot going for it. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, now that I'll stop crowing about uh, what I think about this map, and like I said, I do like it, um, I, I say give it a try. See what you think, and, you know, maybe it'll be something uh, that you start to kind of crow about as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Give it a shot. But I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. That being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.